In August 2023, Huawei sent shockwaves through the smartphone industry with the launch of the Mate 60 series. This flagship lineup defied the odds, overcoming U.S. sanctions that restricted Huawei's access to 5G chipsets. By collaborating with SMIC, China's leading semiconductor foundry, Huawei debuted the Kirin 9000's processor. Built using SMIC's 7 node, this chipset brought 5G connectivity back to Huawei's flagship phones for the first time since the Mate 40 series in 2020. The Mate 60 series was a symbol of resilience and innovation, igniting excitement across China. Its success was fueled by both technological advancements and a surge of national pride. Huawei's ability to produce a 5G-enabled flagship under such restrictive conditions was celebrated as a milestone, and the initial sales reflected this enthusiasm. The Mate 60 sold out rapidly, dominating conversations in the tech world. Fast forward to 2024 and Huawei has introduced the Mate 70 series. On paper, it seems like a step forward. Premium models such as the Mate 70 Pro, Mate 70 Pro Plus, and Mate 70 RS Ultimate design are powered by the Kirin 9100 chipset. This processor is reportedly built using SMIC's 6M node, a feat achieved without access to extreme ultraviolet EUV lithography machines due to export bans. Instead, SMIC relied on older deep ultraviolet DUV lithography, using multiple exposures to achieve the intricate designs required for modern chipsets. This workaround, while impressive, comes with drawbacks. Using DUV for advanced nodes increases production time and costs, reduces yields, and risks pattern misalignment. These challenges have contributed to limited availability, echoing the shortages seen during the Mate 60's launch. Despite the technological achievements of the Mate 70, the buzz surrounding it has fallen short of expectations. According to a report by Jefferies, consumer excitement in China is notably muted compared to the Mate 60 series. Reviews and online discussions indicate much less enthusiasm, a sentiment that could benefit competitors like Apple. The iPhone in particular may capitalize on this shift in attention. Sales projections further highlight this trend. While Huawei initially estimated strong demand for the Mate 70, analysts now suggest it may sell fewer units than its predecessor. To date, the Mate 60 has sold 12 to 13 million units, slightly below earlier forecasts of 15 to 16 million. By comparison, the Mate 70 is struggling to match even those numbers, with Jefferies predicting total sales might fall short. One reason for the lukewarm reception is the perception that the Mate 70 series offers limited upgrades over the Mate 60. While Huawei touts the Mate 70 as the most powerful lineup in its history, the advancements don't appear significant enough to excite consumers. Combined with production challenges that restrict supply, this has tempered the market's response. Not everyone agrees with this pessimistic outlook. Navigate ongoing sanctions and innovate under pressure is commendable, but consumers seem to be waiting for something truly transformative. In the end, Huawei's journey is far from over. The Mate 70 series may not replicate the success of the Mate 60, but it demonstrates Huawei's resilience in a challenging market. As the company continues to refine its technology and expand its offerings, the industry will undoubtedly keep a close eye on what comes next. Stay tuned for more updates on Huawei and other tech giants as we dive deeper into the stories shaping the industry. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Let's keep the conversation going. Thank you for watching. Until next time, take care and stay curious.